Hey guys, so I just wanted to walk you through how to set up and install Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website. Uh, the Tag Manager is something that I was a little bit intimidated by when it first came out. I thought it was too advanced for me and um, that I was a little confused with how it worked. But I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised with how easy it is to set up um, and how simple it is to use once you get in there. So the first thing that we need to do is create an account. And something to consider here is you have two different um, different levels. One is the account level, and then you have the container level. So your account should be thought of as your larger organization. So let's say your company has three different websites that it manages. You would have one account, and then you would have three different containers, a separate container for each website. So that's how you need to think about this. So just make sure you're logged into the correct Google account that you want to use. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my company name. You can optionally uh, choose to sh sh share some data with Google if you want. Um, you can always change this later in your account settings. So I'm just going to leave it unchecked for now. Go ahead and continue and then we're going to set up our container. So I'm going to set this one up for WPSmackdown.com and then you just need to choose whether it's a website, um, a mobile app, either iOS or Android mobile app. So here we're going to do a website. Click Create. Here's the terms of service. We need to agree to that before we move forward. Go ahead and agree. And now uh, Google right away gives you the code that we need to put onto our website. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this code and copy it. And now I'm going to jump over to a code editor. Uh, you guys might be using something different. I'm using Sublime Text here. Any code editor will do. Um, text editor will work as well. So in WordPress, I'm going to open up the header.php file for my theme. You guys can optionally, if you're um, inserting different scripts with your functions.php file, or you might have a custom plugin as well, you can add this there. Um, this is one of the simplest and, and most straightforward ways to do it, is just to open up that header.php file. The only thing to keep in mind with adding your tag manager code to the header file is that if you switch themes, make sure that your new theme is going to have a different header.php file. So make sure that you move that tag manager code over if you choose if you switch themes. So Google recommends that we place this tag manager code right um, after the opening body tag. So here is the opening body tag in my theme. So I'll go right below it. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that Google Tag Manager code right in there. And that's all that you need to do to install Tag Manager. Um, I will do some more videos on how to add different tags and set things up. But once you've added this code here, just make sure you upload this file to your website using whatever FTP program you use. And then you are all set to go. Thanks for watching.